So I am here with the, yeah, I have to say I I am that kind of metalhead that likes melody. And uh, sometimes I have to say, I don't know, uh, uh, my friends out there, everybody who knows me, they know, okay, uh, growling in voices is part of metal. But I'm a little bit older and I remember a time where great, great, great voices were metal. And yeah. I have to say, I am in front of one of the very few. I could cut a couple of fingers in my hands and I would have the list of those singers. And I am, uh, yeah, I'm happy to have one of those in wow. front of me. This is, uh, of course, Fabio Leone from the legendary band Rhapsody. Uh, I, I, we have had the, the, the chance of working in the past with Angra and also with Rhapsody. And in, in the last time we were talking together, it was February 2020, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, COVID was around us, but we didn't know what was going to happen. And you Basketball. were, <laughs> yeah. And we were just about to to meet you. You were going to fly to South America. You first had to go to Mexico, but then the bomb yeah. arrived. <laughs> To, to, to say the truth, we, we, we just arrived in Mexico exactly the same day that the pandemic was proclaimed on TV. So wow. we just arrived uh, in Mexico in the hotel after three hours. I was on TV as a pandemic. What? <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, why they didn't tell this yesterday? So at least the band didn't fly. <laughs> <laughs> It was really a nightmare for the band, you know, because we, we, we just arrived in a country and the pandemic in all the world. I was like, oh, my God. So, wow, was not easy. Not easy because I remember we need three days to, to, to get back to Italy because Italy was a red zone. Yeah. So no flights. No. So imagine, I think we are 12 or 13 people and... There was no way to, to go back to Italy. So the, we have to find a way, the only flight possible to Spain and then to Switzerland and then to Switzerland, take a train to reach Milano. To go oh, my to God. That was something amazing, really. My well, and I, hear, and I hear also that, coincidentally, Italy was one of the countries that was hit really hard with COVID. How did you leave that? One was a nightmare. I mean, it was the first one because uh, as far as I know, there was a Chinese girl that was uh, working in Munich with one Italian guy. And then they, they, they traveled to Milano in a fabric. And this Chinese girl had a COVID and this guy took the COVID and all the 300 people of the fabric took the COVID and then Milano was the the I center goodness. of this and ah, was so bad, so bad in the beginning because the people didn't know uh, what was, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, and so Italy, I think was the first country that was it. Yes, you're right. Really hard. So especially the first one, two months where like uh, you, you saw people that Every day they were talking, dying, and the people didn't know why. So it was really like, uh, and actually nobody knew at that point how was the virus, I was, uh, what to use against this virus. And so, yeah. wow, it was really bad in the beginning, yes. Not easy at all. Of course not. And then Spain and then, well, all over the world. Um, this, is, this is a question that can sound a bit cheesy, but as we all lived it, I had, I had my own answer for this. And I want to ask you, did the confinement, did the pandemic bring any good change for you, if any? Not at Absolutely. All. For me, it was a nightmare. Two years of really bad. 
You know, when you don't know what to do, when you can't meet people, when you can't go outside, when you can't work, you smoke more than usual. <laughs> you sleep more than usual. Oh, that sounds good for the voice. Well, I don't know if cigarettes. <laughs> you try to, to write lyrics, to think about songs. I mean, you, you, you desperate in a way, try to, to, to create something, to do something, to, to at least to write songs, to have ideas, you know, uh, was really bad. I, I'm not sure that people really get the message and really understood uh, the important things in life because most of the people, I think they just past two years, they probably spend more time on internet. So they know more things now, but maybe they are get used or addicted to, the internet or to a lot of stuff. Even worse, know. yeah. But they did, I'm not sure they learned the lessons to be better people, to help the others, to, 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 to think about a community and not to think just about themselves, you know, like an egoistic way. For me, it was really hard, I have to be honest, because my father, I lost my father just three or four months before the pandemic, three months. So yeah, we talk about it. Yes. I, remember. I was on tour. I was coming back and I see that nobody was home. Not my mother, not my father, nobody. Ah. Or I and was a night. So I was like, what? The car is not here. So I went to the hospital and my father was there. Um, so, and in, in the same week, also my mother had an operation. So I, I had at the same time, the both not feeling good. Then my mother went good. And, uh, and then, you know, I went on tour with Luca. I arrived in Mexico, pandemic. I said, no, this is, this is, oh my. Oh yeah. So when you are back and you try to stay with your mother, with your brother, but of course, you miss your father. My little daughter is not living with me, but she's living far with my uh, with the mother. You know, when you have a lot of things going on, and you can't take the car and go to see your uh, daughter, you can talk with your friend because you can't go outside. You can't work because nobody's working. Okay, you can. <laughs> it's like my boy. So I, I think I was really strong, really strong and uh, thinking to create something, ideas, music. Um, but the, the second year was really hard because, you know, in the beginning, six months, seven months, eight, yeah. you can stand. But when I realized, okay, Another year. one year is past and it's still the same. Oh, my God. The <laughs> second year was really hard. Wow. So, so when when these dates began to sprawl, I mean, the, things were going little by little. Getting, what did you feel when when you knew? Okay, I have a show next week. <laughs> I was like, nah, it's not true. Something will happen. Some aliens will come to the <laughs> to the world. Something nah, cannot be. After two years of no show, I have a show next week. Now, nah, something will happen in this last five, six days. But then I was able to do it. I was doing actually my first tour was acoustic with the Marcel, the second guitar player of Angra. Uh -huh. I 14 shows in Brazil, really good. Considering that it was an acoustic show uh, with bands that I love, you know, with Aerosmith or or uh, why is the Europe made and uh, you were singing course. those songs you were singing yes. those songs okay yeah and really it was nice. we had all, all 800 almost 900 people in Sao Paulo for one acoustic show exactly uh, after the pandemic so the people were still scared with the math oh. with it. that was amazing not to see almost 900 people in front of us, wow. still mask, still scared, with di keeping distance, you know, 
each other, but uh, was amazing. You know? So I started in a strange way, in a weird way, but uh, but I love it. And uh, by the way, I I, I said Harrowsmith, and I saw that Steven Tyler is not feeling good, and uh, that was uh, until today, and I was like, oh my god, because it, it is getting old. He's like seventy four years old. Oh yeah. And, I, I was for a moment thinking, okay, what will happen when, you know, everyone has some, not idols, but, you know, some bands of the Corazon, eh? Yeah. I don't want to imagine the day that I will not see Maiden anymore, or Harris that, anymore. Or, that day is coming. That day is coming. It's not so far, you know? And yeah. so I love some new bands. Okay, there are some great new bands, but when you will not have Aerosmith, Guns, Maiden, Black Sabbath, what the f- what? <laughs> uh, maybe I am old too. I don't know. Maybe I think in the old way, but. No, no, it's true. Uh, the thing is, I, I would say, you know, there's this, this guy, uh, John Kalorner. John Kalorner is. Not a producer is a guy who works uh, for worked for the industry, and he he was behind Aerosmith success, White Snake success, even Journey. This guy did something similar to A and R, and yeah. and he he quit the job. He quit the job, and he said publicly that he quit because there was no no more. Rock stars, because because little kids were being normalized through medication, and 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 you needed these characters, these special characters, uh, you know, for the future. I have to confess one thing, uh-huh. because we have been since a, a long time, and I consider you as a friend. Oh, I have to you. confess, even, even if it's complicated, because it's really complicated. You can imagine relationships, uh, daughter, family. I think I am one of the few guys that is traveling constantly, always. Europe, South America, Europe, South America. And then, okay, when the band has a tour in Japan or whatever, you know, Australia or Canada. Because I have bands in Europe and I have a band in South America. And this is not easy at all when the people think sometimes people outside of the scene or some people that were friends of mine many years ago they feel ah oh, you have a good time you are funny but yeah yeah travel with me <laughs> sing two hours every night and sleep two hours and then take a flight and then and then yeah and then we talk you know yeah. But I do this because I love this, because uh, the fact that you said a child are being normalized, controlled in a way, but it, it's true. There is a new, uh, there is a song in the new uh, Angra record. I, re- uh, I, I do this relevation to you. The new uh, Angra record has a song that uh, the title is Gods of the World, that they control. Oh, so man. it's... it's about this because uh, you know I do this and people sometimes are scared even Angra the Angra guys sometimes are scared about me in the beginning because they say what the fuck you are drinking smoking (laughs) not sleeping and uh, it doesn't matter yeah I mean I don't say that the people most of the people should do this that most of the singers should do this or musicians but Today, in the bands, in the new bands, I I I, I see that is missing this. <laughs> this uh, you have not to be the new Lemmy, okay? You have oh, not no, to be. Please don't be. <laughs> but not, you know, when they think about depilate and uh, take the sun and uh, the, 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 the hard rock, the rock attitude. It's rock getting and roll. Lost. It's lost. Oh, yeah, it's lost. It's part of the. I, I, you know, 
there's this this uh, songwriting course in in uh, uh, you know Berkeley, and and I I was amazed because my main conclusion it was that the course help you to make music even if you don't have inspiration. Yeah, you know you take out. It's the same that happened with football. You you can't play like Brazilians, so there's let's do something for them not being able to play. <laughs> something like that, you know. Uh, <laughs> this is an exaggeration. What I mean is, you have to follow your style, your way, your attitude, your and what you like. But this doesn't mean that you have to be perfect always or yeah. clean. Uh, not not that you have to be dirty, but you know these new bands. Most of the new bands are they think about a great video clip mainly. Yeah. The first, it's not the great music or the attitude or on stage to kill the stage. Uh, uh-huh. We uh, we need a great video clip, okay, with a lot of money involved and uh, some good chicas or girls and <laughs> then a good manager, then a good record label, then uh, ideas, then uh, socials, uh, a guy that's taking care about this, then we write music, then we think about life. No, 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 that's not the way. Uh, Fabio, it's, it, I have to tell you, and, and, and you will remember, you will remember also, because, because Rhapsody began exactly the other way around. You guys, you guys put out this beautiful Legendary Tales album in a record label that I would say nobody in Latin America would relate to what you were playing. You were in Inside Out, if I'm not wrong. A progressive, very, uh, uh, I would say, stay, is strange. It was Inside Out, yeah, yeah I would say. Was Limp the first? Oh, of of course, but Limp Limp distributed through SPV and SPV had inside that I would yeah. say. So, yes. so this, uh, and we never saw a video of you. We just opened the CD. You know what? I have to I have to tell you the story. I don't I don't know if I told you, but. I remember I had a store, you know, a metal store. We have a lot of, uh, uh, we had a distribution through Nuclear Blast. And they never, I never discovered your music through my distribution. I didn't import your albums. I had an audition with a band that I liked to produce. And the drummer approached me and he said, hey, have you listened to Rhapsody? Yes, Rhapsody, what is this? You know, and... He gave me the CD. I put it in my disc man while I was on the trip to their uh, rehearsal room. And and I went like, what the hell is this? I was like, this is something I never heard before. This is something I, I have to be involved in anyway with this. I need to sell these CDs. And there was nothing that you mentioned. Uh, of course, this is... This is what happens today. Today, you can easily, with an iPhone, record a great video. You can record yes. a pristine yeah. production album in a computer. You can do that. But, but yeah, you can use it in the right way. Is everything is in service to the to the seed, right? Mm-hmm. Today. What happens is there's fruit without the seeds, <laughs> and some people, some people chew it, but most people know, you know, because music is with you. Yeah, sometimes it's bad because because people yeah. think oh, it's better because uh, everybody is able to reach everybody, and uh, oh, there are a lot of bands that have the possibility to show their music to the world. Yes, but at the same point. Most of the people, they just saw and listen one song. They saw one video of one song. And they think that all the record of the band, it's like this song. So if you choose the wrong one, you are fucked. <laughs> For yeah, example, there's no time. Yeah. And we did a video clip 
on internet in 97. Okay, it was an, another time, 97. But yeah. we released a clip of uh, Forest of Unicorns. Okay. It's a good ballad. Yeah. A sexy ballad. But probably the reaction of the people will not be the same because they will think, ah, oh, they are a good Celtic... Um, um, Folklore, inspired, game. yeah. <laughs> so uh, you have to choose the right songs and maybe you have to release more videos to get the attention of the people yeah. because uh, you show three different songs in three different styles that people say, oh, interesting. It sounds different from the uh, compared to the other songs. So uh, maybe let's buy the album. But, you know, and uh, it's complicated to find the right key today. I love the idea to, to of the past, like Rhapsody did. No video. Nothing. Just, <laughs> just the music was talking. And the people were just blah, 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 talking. Wow, wow, listen, wow. You hear the pepper? It was the same in all the world. In all the world. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. It was, and it was an explosion. I mean, uh, they... Of course, it was a different times. You were about to, uh, yeah. There was a a change in the well, the century, right? Century, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the change of the century. It was a very special. But I have to say, it's been it's been twenty, twenty, twenty five years, right? Twenty five. Yeah. I assume the band the band started before, but even even before you, right? So, so but in 25 years in in metal in in melodic metal, I have to say, uh, you didn't do it being faster, weirder. No, you you brought together a very very difficult to classify piece of artwork mm -hmm. and this will live forever of course and and of course sometimes it's difficult to surpass your own masterpiece I think in this specific kind of music like symphonic uh, music uh, Rhapsody always will be remembered as a unique Band. They create a unique sound, and uh, okay, today you have Nightwish, you have some bands that are mm. cool, and they, they 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 talk about symphonic metal, but it's not the same. It's not the same. They didn't create a saga. They didn't have Saruman with them as a narrator. <laughs> yeah, they didn't. I mean, you have always to think about Italian band, one Italian band. So it's double difficult. You have yeah. Latin. I don't say that it's easy if you if you if you born in Germany or Sweden or Finland, but it is more easy because yeah. the country. Well, oh, and for example, country. Germany. Germany is a metal country, and they they listen to a lot of music. But one band coming from Italy. Playing what they love because they love power metal. I mean, you were against all odds, and uh, and well, the yes. time the the time is here. But also at the same time, in your history through time, you you had, of course, a lot of obstacles in your developing. But but today, yeah. but the te today, you guys, because this is what I hear, right? Uh, this tour finally. Is going to be a reality three years later. I know you went to Spain, you went to the US, to the Prog Power. Um, what is, yeah, this tour you're doing? I hear, I hear people say this is this will be your last tour. What is this? Yes. Uh, can you can you tell us what's what's going to happen with this tour? What is why is it important, and what is happening right now? It's not really easy to explain because uh, about Rhapsody, the, 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 there is always confusion because the band did some mistakes, especially Luca and Alex, dividing the bands. So we have two Rhapsody, then Luca used his name <laughs> to create Luca to release Rhapsody. When I introduced to him Alessandro Conti, 
because he was uh, he was uh, almost taking a German singer, and I didn't want. I confess this. So I no. introduced Luca Alessandro Conti. I say even in Italy we have somebody that sounds like uh, I don't know Kiske or Hello here. Uh, no, I say okay, give me give me. This is Alessandro Conti. This is Luca Turi. Listen here and talk with. He said, "Wow, Fabio, you're right. Wow, this guy's great. Wow, wow, wow." So he created the Luca to release Rhapsody, and Staropoli wants to do the Rhapsody of Fire. Okay, <laughs> even if I have to be honest, Luca was always the main composer. Staropoli is a good composer, but most is a really extremely good ar- uh, arranger. Ranger. Yeah, yeah, classical arranger. And this combination was working very good. Magic, so of course. Luca was writing the song. Alex was arranging the song in the best way. That's why I don't want to get wrong about the fans, but I don't care because I always talk honest. I am honest always. No, I don't think we have the same quality in the two bands. We have that because... One is a good composer and a great arranger, but it's not a great, great, great composer, in my opinion. The other one is a great composer with a good singer, very good singer, Alessandro Conti. But the really good arranger arranger uh, was missing, and the, the, the main voice of the band, me, was missing. Yeah. So my opinion was okay, but was not working. That's why we wanted to 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 create something new with Luca, and we didn't we didn't want to use the name Rhapsody. We wanted to use the name Zero Gravity as a, a band name when we released the record four years ago. Which is a but, great record, a great amazing record. I loved it. Of course, you guys were looking for something else, right? Yes. But the record label, the manager, and a lot of people told us, no, you, you should put Rhapsody in the name of the band because blah, blah. In my opinion, this was a mistake because, because when you think about Rhapsody, you always think about a saga, a symphonic, medieval, maybe fantasy. And we look at it. Something different, something new, with the same orchestration, with the same uh, choirs, with the same uh, as always the rest of the head, but something new. Yeah. And uh, and this was a, a bit of mistake to use the name Rhapsody in the in the band name, in my opinion. But the point is the record is amazing in my opinion. It's something yeah. uh, you, uh, you know better than me that it follow the easy way, it's easy. To try to compose the same song, always the same record, is the easy way. The, the, what is really difficult is to reinvent yourself. Being a more, musician, a creative person. Uh, and you still feel, oh, it's Luca, oh, it's Fabio, but wow, sounds, in, sounds like the old, but, but, but it's not the, like the old. So this is really more complicated to do, to write, to compose. So we are tired, you know, we are tired. Luca, especially, is really tired about power metal to be associated only as a good composer of power metal. Luca is a great composer, that's it. He can compose whatever music. And uh, it's a, a very good guitar player, and it's incredible piano player. Yeah. That not all the people knows this. So you want to do some pop, some Queen-style project, something. And he, he didn't say that he doesn't want to work with me, because we are good friends, and... Uh, we were we are thinking actually to close the chapter using the name Rhapsody. We don't want to use the name Rhapsody anymore. So this is why this is the last Latin America tour of Rhapsody and we will play all the greatest hits and I'm sure all the fans will sing with us and uh, but after this tour and we will not do the tour in Europe, we don't want to use the name Rhapsody anymore because we are tired of uh, this band that was splitting in three and then the, the, the ex-keyboard player is still going on with the other Rhapsody and, and he doesn't he's not happy that me and Luca we play using the name Rhapsody you know what, we are tired 
So you, we are really honest. I mean, he likes to use the name Rhapsody. He wants to continue. Okay, do it. We don't care. I mean, other people will discuss about this. Other people will uh, have uh, some legal problem, maybe to buy the name, to have the name, the rights. We don't care. We say to him, okay, use it. I don't want to talk bad, but you understand what I mean. Uh, yeah, 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 of course. So, to, and so, use it. So, Fabio. Um, use this name, we will not do this kind of music. That's it. All right. Uh, now, of course, of course. He will continue, but Fabio is not there. The soul, the 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 soul cage, is not there. And 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 I have to say, fans, we metal fans, we we can't be great composers. We can't be great arrangers or singers. But what a fan, even even the one, the simplest soul loving metal or any kind of music only cares about one thing and that is that thing is that your song touches crushes and make it like this his heart you know the, the blood going all over the place and make him transport to another universe yeah. right so in one side i have to ask you you are ready you are ready for for the even more difficult task of letting people know that you now are called a different artist and also doing different music that maybe uh, your fans are not familiar with or maybe are not interested in. This is one thing. And the other, uh, does Staropoli knows that people also know that there are four guys missing in that incarnation. I mean, there's always a divide. Of course, if there is an agreement, you're not fighting, you're not suing each other. But still, still, uh, yeah, there's unfinished business because I, 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 am, I imagine, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, please. Yeah. Give me your but we want to continue in the future Great. if we have the possibility doing something even more uh, impressive compared to zero gravity. You know, we want to follow this direction. So we don't want to look back and and try to copy the old rhapsody Yourselves. style. Yeah. It's right. I mean, when you, when you, with the age, your taste in music is a bit different. You want to, to, to experiment something. You want to create something new. Not everybody is the same. Some bands, they want to play the same song or the same record forever. So, but yeah, yeah. for me. example, for example, Leo Richard, right? Let's, let's go to Leo Richard. Leo Richard was a star who was so impressive. He influenced everybody. But Lee Richard had any any more things to say after the 70s. Of course, he had shows until his his day of dying. Now, there's, there's, there's a lot of artists following that path. Of course, you guys you guys have the urge of showing the world what yeah. what you have now in your mind as an artist right and you are yeah. betting for that so there will yeah. be no more rhapsody yeah. no no there will be a rhapsody i think uh, the rhapsody of staropoli will go on they they probably will try to continue forever but i you know i even sometimes people ask me if i listen something of them uh, i know the the, the The main composer is not there. The main vocalist is not there. And the uh, Rhapsody, it, it was working because of three people, I told you. Because Luca was composing the song. Totally. Started, started arranging the song, and they found the right vocalist. I don't say that I am good, or maybe not good, but this way that I sing sometimes with the, this opera touch, with this vibrato, with this, it's perfect. It was just perfect for this band. With another singer, will not work. So 
I don't need to 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 listen them. I listened two songs, I think, of Rhapsody of Fire because uh, on the internet there were two videos. Nah, I didn't like so much. I am honest. It sounds so, like a band that is trying to copy the the, the old records now. With a singer that is like I don't know, I put Michael Kiske that is a great singer in Manowar. Okay, it's good, but uh, yeah, doesn't you have feel to- a little bit odd. Yeah, yeah, you feel it different, of course. So, so many people would be thinking, okay, Scorpions said goodbye four times. Uh, everybody's saying goodbye, and of course, we all know there will be back, but. You, this, you had already a farewell tour. You decided to do this because, you know, management, record label stuff. But this is the last time we were yes. going to see you play. Absolutely. Because of the pandemic, because of the, in four years, the people changing. Because we want to follow the, 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 the direction of zero gravity. And this time we want to follow not using the name Rhapsody, not to have nothing to do with Rhapsody Big anymore effort. in the future. So this will be really the last time that people can sing with me, Dono Vittori or Lamento or uh, Emera. Or, we will not do, even if we continue one day, even if we will release a new record in, in in the future, we will not play Rhapsody oh songs. Wow. You know what? Maybe I will. With some bands. Maybe I will do, but not with Luca. Luca doesn't want to go back. So so what I mean here is, if Staropoli one day say, okay, guys, come here, hug me. Let's do this again. I will never do it. Sorry. I am honest. I will never do. I will never sing again with Star Opera. Never. Never. He did oh so goodness. many bad things in the past that people and the fans does know because that's the point. Because me and Luca, we didn't want to tell all the things. And we will not tell because we sure. are night. Nice. But uh, even if somebody will ask to me, okay, uh, you do a reunion, you, you play a show with him, uh, I offer to you, no. No, no fucking money, no fucking way, no, no way. <laughs> because because no you, way. I have to, I have to tell you, this is the only bet. Of course, I don't care if you guys that are seeing us talk, uh, you might think I am biased. Of course I am, but something that, something that is missing, and it would be like a dream, because the music of Rhapsody is so together with classical music, was. See yeah. you guys play with a symphonic orchestra together. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know, I know. I have a good friend of mine in the Czech Republic, for example. He is the promoter now of Masses of Rock and Prago Concert. I was there a few, three years ago, four years ago, I don't remember now. And I was watching with Invitation or the theater, I don't remember. And it was close to me took it to me. They had an orchestra on stage. And they <laughs> told to me, it's what you always missed, Fabio. Why Rhapsody never did a show with a complete orchestra on stage? It's the perfect band for this. Of course. But if the time is passing, passing, there are more and more bands that are trying to do this, but not the band that should do this. Exactly. And the perfect band that is Rhapsody. Exactly. I There's see. no other band. No other band. I say to him, uh, I think it will never happen. That's it. Because oh my god, now it's too late. So now it's too late. So I told you, for me it's fine. Uh, we look at we are really good friends, and everything is fine. Maybe it can happen a show, a special show in the future with orchestra, but for sure not together with Staropoli. All right, so, no. so we, so after all these years, we are finally seeing a moment. I, you know, I would, I have to say, um, uh, this would be great. I will have the luck to see you four times doing this last tour. Hopefully, your fans in Colombia will will be there and know exactly uh, what's going to happen because 
because we had the chance of of seeing you guys perform uh, such such great and, and, uh, and original music. So, uh, Fabio, of course, of course, you are the singer for this band. Of course, you've been there for 25 years or more. But you also are the singer, the lead singer of another great band, which is Angra. Yeah. And it's another band, Latin band, of a country that it's not really, in which it's not really easy to play heavy metal music. Of course anyway. not, but it's very big anyway, you know? Yes, and that's why I like this. I mean, I always like complicated things in my life, you know. <laughs> as, a, as for Rhapsody, that were uh, Italian men, uh, a band from Brazil playing heavy metal and successful. This is, wow, something Not easy. I mean, I I have nothing to uh, nothing bad to say to the band of uh, Finland or whatever German. But everybody knows that if you want to do something like this and you you are from a country like uh, Portugal or Spain or Greece or uh, it's more difficult. Not easy. Not so easy. To be really good. Or I, I, maybe you have to know the right people, or maybe you have. Uh, I don't know, but you you really think that a band like Sabaton, for example, you can like or not like the band? If they were Italian, you really think they reach the same? <laughs> <laughs> I am. I agree. I, with I, you. I, maybe yes, but they they should work double because wow or triple. No, yeah. I, it, it, as a, as a as a heavy metal fan, I I really uh, think it is remarkable that. The rate, the the voice of the main singer is not uh, the usual, uh, right? True. So, yeah, they're, they're very they they're very famous in Europe, right? Yeah, Germany yeah. also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are your what are your plans with Angra? I'm sorry. Uh, just finished to record the new album. So actually, Dennis Ward, the, the other producer. Yeah. We make the songs, I think, in February, March. So probably April, I will have uh, the new mixes done. The record is really good. It's not like Omni. They are different. And it's really various. There are very good surprises in this record because nice. uh, the songs are uh, uh, something that the old fans will love at least three or four songs. And then there are three or four songs that are completely unexpected, let's say. Okay. But you can still feel the Brazilian mood, percussions and uh, notes. and uh, So you feel that the band is from Brazil. There's no way. And also my way of singing is more various because this time I was composing... 90% of the melodies. So oh, wow. Of the record. So, uh, so of course, for me, it was different because I was, uh, you know, creating the, the verse, the chorus of uh, 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 nine songs. So almost all the record. So, so you and, know, uh, I, I it's, it's great that you talk about that because I, I have to tell you also, uh, Angra, I, I remember being, you know, I always have music around me. So I have a stereo when I have a shower and I put the CDs. I remember being on my store, bringing the CD of Angra, putting fireworks. I put on and I'm having this the shower and I'm listening to, oh my God, what is this? I, after I was ready, I said, I have to call right now to this number on the CD and see. Well, when I called, the band was split. And and anyway, I I have to say, uh, my my favorite my favorite Angra music is not in Matos time. It's great. I can I can get a lot of songs from there and say, this is masterful, right? But yeah. to me, to me, Rebirth and especially Temple of Shadows are. Are world class 
top yeah. music. I mean, yeah. like Dream Theater was great for me, and Images and Words is be for me. It's below Temple Temple of Shadows. I mean, like it's it's something something really great. And and the band also the 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 songwriting has evolved. For example, there was a a, a moment in time where Kiko was composing, and then and now you said you said you are in the composition. Yeah, I mean Omni, for example, I helped the band in seven songs. Wow! I create vocal, vocal melodies for seven songs, not complete. Sometimes just the chorus, sometimes the verse and the chorus. But these new records, uh, I was writing with them the vocal melodies for almost all the songs, nine wow. songs. So. My style it fits better now, and uh, it is more various the record. So it is what I like more, you know, to experiment also with the voice. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure people will love this record, and they will talk a lot about this record. I'm and looking forward to hear it. Yeah. Don't 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 forget that Dennis Ward was also the producer of Rebirth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. And he's been he's been with you guys a long time. Yeah. So it's the same producer of Temple of Shadows and, and Rebirth. So Aha. if he's happy and he told me the result is really good. And oh. uh, it, well, I never worked with him. It was the first time that I worked with him in a studio. We were writing some songs in the past for Frontiers Record together, but I never met him face to face. Sure. So after the, I finished my vocals one day and a half before. I had one day and a half more if I want. And he said, congratulations, man. That was one of the best production that I ever done. Oh, and uh, was an honor. And uh, wow, the result is really good. So I think that probably we have a very good. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to hear it. When is it going to be out? That's the point. We think September, October, probably in August or something like this. We uh, this we can release a new uh, single or a video clip because we want to release one song at least for Japan before. Yeah, you're you're you are very. I mean, Japan yeah. Japan is w one of your biggest markets since first time, right? Yeah, but I don't think the band is able to release the record before September or October. Sure. Okay. We will have the mix, maybe April. Then, of course, you need the time to print, vinyl, whatever. So the record label needs some time to do it. So let's say September, October. Can I ask you, and can I ask you, what is the record label this time? Or you don't know? Ear music. Ear music. Hear music, Edel. It's the same label of Omni. Okay. Hear. Oh, hear music. All right. That's a great. I mean, they 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 have Alice Cooper. They have uh, uh, Taria. They have uh, the Purple. I mean, uh, and oh, yeah. I know. I know one of the bosses because he's Italian. You know, Max Vaccaro. It's a good friend of mine. So. Uh, really nice. Yeah. Yeah, and then I have a second album that will be out, but this is from my first Italian band. I ever. heard, I heard that. What is the name of the band? Athena. 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 The Greek. Uh -huh. And uh, this actually was my first band ever when I was like 17, 18. And uh, what we did, I, I want to spend a few words. I'm sure when the record will be out, you, you you tell you told something about legendary tales. Yeah. Without any promotion, without nothing, spreading the words of the people. I have this feeling because this record is really something that. Uh, I mean, I was I, I am honest. I was talking with Atomic Fire, the boss of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nuclear Blast guy. About Luca, about a possible second record about the tour about then while we were talking i said to you i don't know why we, we talk about angra and something and then i said ah, i have a demo of five songs of my first band i was able during the pandemic and even before one year before to work again with the guys and i think can be something interesting but 
I didn't want to propose to them to to him. Sure. He just said, he just told me, send me the demo. I just want to listen to the song. The day Marcus after, Steiger. The day after, he was writing to me a mail and said, oh Fabio, God. you have a record deal? No, not yet, because we have just a demo and we, you have. You have. <laughs> so, oh, wow. So uh, it was the most uh, easy and complicated at the same time. I'm a band that is not doing anything since more than 20 years, that never expects something. We just compose for ourselves, you know. We just record songs for ourselves, what we love. So we didn't expect, we didn't propose anything, but uh, uh, we have a record deal immediately, and, uh, and he said, well, uh, uh, the, I trust you completely, and, uh, you oh, know, wow. I did, uh, listen to the rest of the songs. He said, this is something uh, like I never heard before. So, oh, so you will be with Atomic Fire. In, in their, yes, we are. Their new, this is a great, great story. The video, uh, lyrics videos that we have to do, and I was a few hours ago checking the things. It's a great record. You, I'm sure you will love it. Of Both course. Records, you know, and of course, we will something. support everything you do, my friend. You are, I mean, like Dio is gone. I mean, he's not anymore. Uh, Bruce Dickinson, well... He's very healthy, although he had cancer. I mean, I mean, you, there will be a point in history that it will be Fabio Leone, and oh. I don't know if Jorn, you know, because he, I mean, he's. You can hear a lot of deal in him, right? But Jorn, but, it's amazing. Amazing. I mean, he's. You know, I follow him since Mundanus Imperium. I mean, like I, I, I know his, but uh, him. I, I have to say, it is more difficult alone, right? Not in a in a in a. You know, there's there's more to it. But anyway, yeah. So we will we will be uh, reporting everything everything you Fabio uh, release because we we know. How important I'm, and talented you are for the people. I'm sure you will get surprised and you will love this. I'm sure. When next year, in the end of the next year, a lot of people will say, what? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> All right. And if I see, believe me. So that's okay. it. Okay. So, so it was great to have you, Fabio. I will let you go. I mean, thank you for giving me almost an hour of your time. Uh, we are looking forward to see you here with us, to hear your your voice again, feel your energy on stage, uh, and we we wish you uh, all the best in, in this in these times and in your future. See you soon, my friend. Okay, abrazo. Of of course, abrazos, amigo. Ciao, ciao. So.